An early opener may give youth and handicapped hunters a week's head start, but it can't overcome the typical whimsies that always make deer hunting a challenge. This was seen firsthand at the 8th Annual Tuttle Creek Youth and Handicap Assisted Deer Hunt held this past weekend near Manhattan. After a pre-hunt breakfast provided by sponsors, I teamed up with Josh Ruoff, a Topeka youth hunter trying for his third straight year to get a deer. To up his odds, Josh was paired with John Massey, owner of Booner's Outfitters at Randolph, and John worked for two weeks to prepare some great hunting options on his own properties. Excitement and odds were high as we drove in darkness to a double-blind setup where we would film the hunt. Through trail cameras on site, John had seen a consistent morning deer movement dissolve in recent days as evening became the better activity period but the spot we hunted was loaded with deer. We got into our blinds well before daylight and all was quiet as legal shooting hours approached. Don showed an empty field that stayed that way for two hours. Then excitement. John spotted a doe over a distant rise coming our way. But the deer moved into the trees and disappeared. A raccoon and the sounds of nearby turkeys made the hunt enjoyable, but no deer came close. Josh left for Topeka before noon to watch his high school football team in a make-up game. Though he'd planned to return for the evening hunt, he called later to say he wouldn't make it. Me? I said another blind he was scheduled to hunt that evening, and guess what? Sorry, Josh. Next morning at 6 a.m., I teamed up with Quentin Lara of Havensville, who had narrowly missed a 40-yard chance on opening morning when a momentary equipment failure produced a dry fire. By the time Quentin recovered, the huge doe was gone. On this hunt, we sat without seeing a deer. It figured. Those are the breaks that all deer hunters endure at one time or another. But many on this hunt were more fortunate. By the first evening, 15 deer had been taken by 26 hunters, a tremendous success rate and the best start ever for this event. These deer were taken to GTB Meats at Riley, which graciously provided a cooler for temporary cold storage of all hunt animals. Events like this help build the future of hunting. Many organizations are responsible and each is genuinely appreciated for its part. In addition, a special thanks goes to the guides who freely volunteer their time and expense to help fellow Kansans have a great deer hunt. Events like this are held across the state. Hats off to this special program. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.